I would like to share with you some of the statements made by those men and women who just missed him. See, there are 400 or so years between us and him. Yet when we hear his name, we feel that our hearts are about to break. We miss him so much. 1,400 years. I want you to think about a man who missed him by just one year. Last year, the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi was alive. I missed him by one year. I could have been a companion and seen him. I will never see him again till the day of judgment. Imagine the pain. You see his hair left behind in the homes of his wives. You meet his wives. You meet his, some of his children. You see his clothes. You feel the walls of the house. And imagine, imagine those who missed him by just a month. Those who missed him by just a week. Those who missed him by a few hours. They come into Medina to meet the Prophet of God. They say, we've just buried him. And that is why Imam Muslim narrates that a man came to Al-Miqdad ibn Al-Aswad, a companion. This man was a tabi'i, a second generation Muslim. He didn't see the Prophet. He said to Al-Miqdad, طوبى لهاتين العينين اللتين رأتا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وددنا والله أن ورأينا الذي رأيت وشهدنا الذي شهد He said, Miqdad, how blessed are those two eyes of yours that saw the face of Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم He said, I wish that we saw what you saw and witnessed what you witnessed ثابت البناني who was the servant of Anas ibn Malik, who was the servant of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thabit did not meet the messenger alayhi salatu wa sallam. What did Thabit say to Anas subhanallah? Imagine, think about it, right? Looking into the face of a person, looking into his eyes, knowing those eyes saw the face of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thabit, he said to Anas, أَعْطِنِي هَاتَيْنِ الْعَيْنَيْنِ الَّتِي رَأَيْتَ بِهِمَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ sallallahu alayhi wa sallam حَتَّى أُقَبِّلَهُمَا he said, please lend me your two eyes for a moment. Lend me your two eyes for a moment just so that I may kiss those eyes that saw the face of Prophet Muhammad Ishaq at Tujaybi, he would say whenever the companions of the Prophet Muhammad would remember him after he died, their skins would shiver and serenity khushur would fill the room and they would begin to cry. Imam Malik, whenever he would mention hadith, teaching the companions in Medina, whenever he would mention the name of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the color of his face would change and he would begin to lean forward as if he was injured. And they would say to him, how come you experience this whenever you mention the name of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He said to them, if you saw what I saw, you would behave the same. They said, what did you see? He said, I saw the great Imam Muhammad ibn al-Munkadir. Whenever he would mention the name of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a class, he would stop and cry and cry and cry, حتى نرحمه, till we would just feel sorry for him.